Um, I just wanted to get some thoughts out real quick on the National Lacrosse League, where we stand right now um, with the league and everything like that. I hope everybody's having a good time with ESPN Plus and everything like that. Um, that um, that has been great. You know, we've seen some Sports Center Top Ten type plays already. In fact, I think some plays have been on the Sports Center Top Ten already this year. I mean, there's been some crazy, crazy goals this year. Um, and then you got things like um, the whole um, Every Child Matters thing that they're doing this week. Um, um, for the games this week and everything, like they, the NL has navigated COVID actually pretty well. Actually, like you know, uh, first three weeks everything was fine. In first three weeks, everything was fine. Of course, you know, Omicron, you know, decided to sneak their hands into things, and that's how you know we had to have games in, um, you know, um, a week before canceled. You know. Those games were canceled, so they had to get moved around a little bit. But everything's fine. In fact, there was a game for this week that got canceled as well, and it'll be it'll be moved somewhere. I'm not. Sh I don't remember which game it was off the top of my head. Uh, again, the ESPN Plus thing has been a good thing. It's been a good thing. I mean, again, there's been like sports in the top ten plays throughout. I mean, you got. Guys like Lyle Thompson, you know, score like 10 goals, like five goals himself, five assists. You got Dane Dobby and the San Diego Seals just whooping on, whooping on the Colorado Bama um, a couple weeks back. That was the first game on ESPN News. Um, in fact, there's going to be a game tomorrow on ESPN News. Um, I think it'll be Georgia and Philadelphia tomorrow. Let me, let me check real quick. I forgot myself. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's been it's been a it's been a hot minute. Let me tell you, it's, it's been a hot minute. Let me tell you that much. Yeah, it is Georgia and Philadelphia tomorrow. So if you have ESPN news, you better be getting on it. Because I mean, my goodness, we we got we got a good one. We got a good one. Um, Swarm and wings tomorrow. We got a good one. That is a good game right there. Um, if, if you want, if you really want me to say anything about Panther City Lacrosse Club, I mean, there's really nothing for me to say. We're an expansion team. I mean. Fort Worth is an expansion team. They're not doing particularly well. They're playing. They're playing pretty well. You know, they. I think they released Randy stats though. But, you know, um, but I mean, I, I, you know, with the NFL and, and college basketball and everything like that, like the NL has not been as big a priority as you know, for me as it should have been. You know, I, I I've certainly watched more games this year. And I've watched, you know, in the past like five or six years. That that's that's the first thing. That is the first good sign. Um, the TSN thing that's been going pretty well. Um, of course, you know, again, like COVID has been, you know, rampant. Like I said, I'm not sure, you know, how many more games get postponed and everything like that throughout the season. I hope there's not many, you know, because I know I know fans are being restricted in Canada, and I know that's the thing that's happening. Um, but it, it's fine. We're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it like we have the last two years, and you know it, it's gonna it's gonna be a great time. Let me tell you, it's gonna be a great time. So, you know, all throughout the month of January, you know, it's gonna be a real real fun time watching some lacrosse, man. It's gonna be a real fun time. You know, there's even a game on ESPN U um, on a Friday actually. So, you know. Next couple weeks, I'm gonna be watching a lot of a lot of good lacrosse on the ESPN, and I mean, I mean, at least at least ESPN Plus is looking like it's more and more worth the purchase now. You know, uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about getting it. You know, of course, you know there's local deals and stuff like that. But I mean, who wants to watch Bali Sports? Come on now, <laughs> Bali Sports. But you know. It is what it is, man. Um, the NLL has been doing very well so far this season. I know attendance has been down a little bit, but I mean, again, that's just COVID, you know. And you know, it's been nearly two years since the league last played. But I mean, hey, we got devoted fans all over the place. I'm gonna make sure that I, you know, get to a game at some point for Fort Worth at least. I'll. I'll I want to say that 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 Sunday in, in February. There's a Sunday in February that I know that Fort Worth has home game, but I'll I'll try and see you know what the schedule looks like for me personally, and 
you know, we'll check back in with the NLL halfway through the season. So after week 11, I'll, I'll do another checkup on the league. We'll, we'll, you know, we're, this is just like early stuff right now, you know, like, like, the, like the seals look good and everything like that. I mean, a lot of teams are looking pretty good right now. A lot of teams, you know, are just fighting, you know, it's still early. Like it's way too early to tell right now with some teams. So, you know, for now, uh, but I'm gonna get on about it here. Just, just I'm just gonna give you know some of my thoughts on things, you know, and everything like that. You know, and my my thoughts have been already stated. <laughs> uh, but later on today, you will be seeing my NFL Week 18 preview and predictions. We're gonna do some predictions and everything. We're gonna do some actual predictions this time. Uh, but preview Week 18, and, and that'll be at like I don't know. Uh, about seven or eight o'clock tomorrow, um, or rather tonight, not tomorrow, because there's games tomorrow. But we'll do we'll do our NFL Week 18 preview, and then you know Saturday. Saturday is gonna be there's gonna be a video posted on Saturday, of course. Um, just so y'all know, FCS Championship needs to get recapped, and we're gonna be watching that game intently, you know, with a lot of intent, you know. So it's gonna be a hell of a Saturday. You know, for sports fans, got college football, got, 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 got lacrosse, got the FCS championship, got the NFL. I mean, it's just a smorgasbord of sports on Saturday. You know, a lot of people don't really seem to like this time before the in between. You know, college football ending and the NFL playoffs. But I mean, come on, these these are some of the most unique Saturdays of the year. The most unique Saturdays of the year. Just mm, Chef's kiss in you know a diversified sports content especially for this channel my goodness we, we need to shake it up in here um so with that being said i'm gonna get on about it here you know um and i'll see you guys in a few hours or so take care